On a special Thursday night edition of Friday Night Lights, the Golden Eagles of Fleming Island travel to Gainesville for a district showdown with Buholes. The game no doubt had more meaning for Fleming Island as they entered the game without a district win and were looking to keep their playoff hopes alive. However, Buholes wasted little time about making a statement that this would be their game. On their opening drive, the Bobcats went three plays and got on the board with a long touchdown pass. Snap, a little high, it's okay. Here's Whittemore, he's going deep. He's got a man, he's got the touchdown! Uh, Caleb Singleton on the coverage there. He seemed like he was in great position. Kind of went more for the ball than the receiver. You'd like to see him play the hands there instead of going for one-handed interception. Reed Russo connected the extra point with 11.06 remaining in the first quarter. Fleming Island would take the ensuing kickoff, march down the field, but the drive would end on fourth down as the Golden Eagles fell one yard short of a first down at the Bobcat 15. Fleming Island's inability to score would lead to a wider cushion for Buholtz as they would take the ball down the field and get their second touchdown of the game. Stop the bleeding here as Buholtz adds in an extra offensive lineman. We see no plays called directly for the quarterback at this point. We wonder if they'll, uh, they'll try to let Whittemore take Quarterback him. power here, probably coming soon. Nope, he passes. He's got a man. Touchdown. Great Bob throw. Cass. Phenomenal throw there, right in the bread basket. The game appeared to be going the Bobcats' way, but midway through the second quarter, the Golden Eagles marched down the field and it would be Fleming Island's sophomore quarterback who would finally get them on the scoreboard. Stop to Marshall in the backfield with Sam Singleton. Here's Brown. He keeps the football off the right side. He's got nobody in front of him. Slow down. Touchdown, word. Nice. Austin Alred's extra point was good, and with the first half of play winding down, the Buholz lead was cut in half at 14-7. However, there was no slowing down the Bobcat offense on this night as Buholz took the kickoff, marched down the field, and capped it off with a 16-yard run. Absolutely. You know, right after you pull off that touchdown drive, you need to be able to come out on defense and set the tone again. But uh, inside the 20 already. Here's Whittemore. He hands off first man through. That's Williams. Williams still on his feet. Crosses the end zone. Touchdown. Buholtz would once again connect on the extra point, but if you thought the teams would take a breath from scoring, you'd be wrong. Fleming Island was determined to put more points on the board before the break. The highlight of the scoring drive was a Sam Singleton 32-yard run. It was only fitting that the senior headed to Florida State would cap off the scoring. There's no need for urgency. Just wind some clock and call a timeout. Calls it to one. Once again, 28 seconds and counting. Here's Sam, touchdown, okay. Golden Eagles. Austin Alred would once again kick the extra point. The two teams would head to the locker room with Buholz holding a 21-14 lead. Coming out of the locker room, Fleming Island hoped they would be able to put the brakes on the high-flying Bobcats. But Buholz picked up right where they left off, connecting on a 42-yard touchdown pass. James Williams, he's in for Jack Ray Kelly, who sprained his ankle there in that uh, play. Jaron Hamilton also near side. Whittemore looking to throw. He throws it deep. He's got a man. Touchdown! This time, Jaron Hamilton. With the Bobcats holding a 28-14 lead, they went back to work late in the third quarter as they hit another TD on a 24-yard pass from senior quarterback Creed Whittemore. 354 and counting down, third quarter. Bobcats threatening again. Here's Whittemore. He wants to throw, he does. He's got a man in the end zone. Excellent throw there, nice Touchdown, catch. Touchdown, Bobcats. However, the never say die Golden Eagles wouldn't go away. They marched down the field again and a big run and catch from Dakota Rowe would set up their next score. So here comes the Screaming Eagle. Better hope they don't uh, run out the play clock here. Got There's five seconds, seconds left on the yep. play clock. 39 seconds in the quarter. To Singleton, 
straight ahead. They're pushing it Touchdown, away Screaming Eagle. With the Golden Eagles looking to make up ground, the Fleming Island defense stopped the high-octane Bobcat offense and forced them to punt. However, the Golden Eagles would fumble the punt return, giving the ball back to Buholz, and the Bobcats made Fleming Island pay. Like Fleming Island is really tight. They're playing all 11 guys in the box. Here's Whittemore. He breaks through across the line of scrimmage. He's down inside the 10-yard line. He's going to score. Touchdown, Bobcats. With Fleming Island's season on the line and a big deficit to make up, the offense went back to work, and the worm inched the Golden Eagles closer on a beautiful run. Springs can uh, dial up here. Routen takes the snap, looking to throw, being rushed. Now he scrambles, gets inside the 10 to the 5. He's going to be close. Touchdown! And if that wasn't enough, Broughton would pull off a little more magic to register the two-point conversion. Oh, bad snap over Broughton's head. He's going to try to pick it up. He does. Now he's going to throw it into the end zone. He's got, he got it there, and he's got him. Look at that. <laughs> That's Darian Dominic. However, Fleming Island's resiliency would not phase View Holes quarterback Creed Whittemore. The senior went right back to work, ringing up another six points on a 20-yard touchdown pass. Down to 10 on the play clock. Snap. Whittemore wants to throw. He does. It's complete, and it is... A touchdown! Sam Singleton would close out the scoring on the night with a dramatic pitch and catch 80 yard touchdown with Sebastian Broughton. In motion, Broughton with the uh, football, looking downfield. He's got a man, it's Singleton all by himself. It's a foot race now. He outraces Whittemore, and there he goes. Sam Singleton, 80 yard touchdown pass. The game would end with Buholz taking a 49-35 victory. The win moved Buholz to 6-2 on the year and solidified their spot in the playoffs. For Fleming Island, the loss dropped them to 4-4 four and, four and for the most part put a nail in the coffin of their playoff hopes. Regardless, it was a high-flying game in which both teams never gave up. Make sure you like Florida Sports Broadcasting on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And subscribe to the Florida Sports Broadcasting YouTube channel. For more information about FSB, go to floridasportsbroadcasting.com.